Third Sunday of Advent, Journey to Bethlehem. The prophet Zephaniah in Sunday's readings announces the birth of the Savior. On that day shall be able to be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you. As one signs at festivals, one wonders if Joseph pondered the scripture at the time of Christ's birth. The Lord God was in his midst. A mighty Savior had come. In his humanity, Joseph could have never imagined that one so mighty could have come amid such poverty and humility. Had he tried to plan this coming of the Savior, he might have gone to great lengths to make it more grand. But that would only have put focus on him so that others could say, you've done a great job making this happen. Instead, he was rewarded with the most intimate moment in mankind's history, to be present at the coming of the Savior. All the prophecies about this promise to Israel was fulfilled in this moment, and Joseph was able to witness it. Scripture doesn't tell us how this profound event impacted him. Joseph is simply there, tending to the need to make it as comfortable as possible for the mother and child. It is marvelous to behold that Joseph never expected anything more in his role. He is simply a witness to the events. During Advent, let us ponder where God is leading us to witness. Like Joseph, we cannot expect to arrange things that they are fit for human imaginings or how it should be or what the result will be. When we witness to our family members, neighbors, and others, let us be like Joseph, stalwart in our duty, but firm in our expectation that God will provide the outcome. God's plans are not ours. To him alone should the glory be given. The angels declared as much when they appeared to the shepherds in the field, proclaiming, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. Even the announcement of the birth of Christ was hidden from Joseph. It was not his task to accomplish. God arranged it. St. Paul tells us in the readings, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Joseph experienced the peace of God that surpasses all understanding in that manger on that cold night. May we experience this peace and may it guard our hearts and minds in Christ so that we overflow with thanksgiving.